Hey friends, it's V from V Love and Crystals. Welcome to our ninth week of intuition, strengthening, sharpening, building, practicing. This is so much fun. I hope you're having a good time every single Thursday. Please join us and do check out our playlist if you missed any of the previous weeks. It's designed for you to just jump in whenever you wish. And um, don't forget to leave your comments, share your stories, your intuitive stories before you see everyone else's. All right, so in the last video, we went over the Wisdom Keepers Oracle without words. Um, in the first position, we had the strength, I'm sorry, the personality. Number two was the strength and number three was the weakness. So for personality, I'm just randomly choosing. Diana says, her name is Maria. Oh yeah, we talked about thinking of names for each of these faces. So I love seeing the different names. So Diana says, the first one is Maria. She is kind, warm, generous, selfless, has a beautiful soul. It feels like she has been through a lot in her lifetime, but she managed to let it all go and continued on her path. If need be, she can offer all of herself in order for others to find happiness and joy. The second one here is the strength. Wuhu Taro says, Hansel, and he's physically and mentally strong, wise, and brave. And then the third one here for weakness, just randomly going, we have Sai says, Weakness, another member of our society whose real name is unknown but is called High Star by the locals. Similar to strength, weakness does not share a name because we all experience moments of strength and weakness throughout our lives. High Star has a big loving heart. I love all the names. They're so like mystical. So it was really interesting to see how we can, you know, uh, place them, you know, with it, just by looking at the faces and the shapes and the colors and their eyes. The eyes tell all, right? Beautiful art. So now we're going to dive into a new pair of cards. Like I said, please chime in if you missed this or last week. You can always, 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 um, yeah, leave your comments and I would love, love, love to read them. So basically we're just taking a deck of cards and we're dissecting them by looking at the images only, no words allowed. Okay, I got one. I have a whole pouch here, so whatever my finger grabbed, that's what I got. So, what becomes of me? Okay, this is courtesy of the Alqui Oracle. What is the next level for me? How can I benefit the most from this transcending? And what challenges me the most? Okay, let's, let's, let's dive in. Before I start shuffling, I wanted to show you this cool Ernie card. Look, he even has a set of playing cards to do cardomancy with. That's what I believe. <laughs> Before we flip them over, please do take some time to meditate with these cards. Please do take some time to let them sit within you. Like, you know, don't rush. Take take a breather, pause the video if you need to. Always try to go with your intuition and not your thoughts because they are different. All right, my friends? So number one here with this ice cream cone, piles, these scoops here. What is the next level for you? Take a deep breath. <sighs> What is the next level for you? And you can throw in your younger self in here in the mix too if you want to. However this resonates. It doesn't have to be for, you know, your younger self. It can be, you know, in general. Okay, number two. How are you benefiting the most from this transcending? So this transformation you're going through, how are you benefiting from it the most? And pile number three, I'm sorry, card number three. What challenges you the most in your spiritual quest? What challenges you? What pushes you out of your comfort zone? So take a moment to really let these sit.
Okay, so I look forward to hearing what you have to say next week. Take a moment to collect your, your thoughts, push them aside, and go intuitively and leave your comment as soon as you can before watching everybody else's, just so that it doesn't affect your, your own message, you know? I, I, I realize that it happens with me. I look at other people's comments and then I, I kind of forget what I was thinking and then, you know, and then I add their messages to my own and then it becomes a mixture of their messages with my own and no, you just want to go with yours first and then afterwards you'll be like, oh, okay, I see what you were getting with that. I see, I get it, you know? But always go with yourself. You have your own, your own wisdom. So much love to you. Please pause the video if you need to. Don't rush.